finally okay. made it last day Hello. of the show. Just Weird. close call. Just squeezed it in. Just squeezed, squeezed it in. in. Yeah. Well, last show. How are you feeling about that today? Honestly, sad. sad. sad I was sure. packing this morning and I had like a, whoa, like, you know, in the films when they yeah. had like a epiphany, I was like wave of sadness. I was like, I don't want to leave. Like, oh, I yeah. feel like I'm not ready to go. Yeah, yeah. If someone looks at me the wrong way, I might cry. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, honestly, <laughs> I need to like hold the tears back. Yeah. I think it's going to be very emotional, but like, it's been such a great season and I'm kind of like excited for it to come to an end because I feel like it's like, oh, this chapter has been like so nice. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So like, 100%. it's nice to put a little bow on the end of it and then, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. But all of our stances have become so close. Oh, that's good. You know, yeah. over this four months, so that's going to be probably one of the hardest stuff, hardest things to say goodbye to everybody. Yeah. No, it seems like good, good vibes all, all around, yeah. almost yeah. very late. Little obstacles here and there, but besides that, I think everyone got along yeah, very, sure. very well. Hundred percent, and we're also like different but similar, like the seven yeah. of us, and like we're all from all over, like what Australia, England, everywhere. But I feel like we all like gel really well. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, we're very similar. Yeah, very personalities. Yeah. Oh, I can't. Oh, no, I need to think about saying bye. <laughs> <laughs> God. Yeah. So, just for context, all three of you are dancers this season. Yes. And you've met here, or did? One of you knew each other before. So Holly and I actually went to primary school together. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Jeez. I didn't so know we that. <laughs> probably met when we were like maybe seven or eight. Yeah. But we were always, I'm one year older than Holly. So we okay. were always in a separate year at school. Yeah. yeah. But we have very similar last names. Yeah. So you're... Johnston. And I'm John Stone. So I just have the E on the end of mine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and our school was very small. Yeah. yeah. So I remember Abby being, besides my siblings, Abby being the only other Johnston. Okay. In the school. Yeah. That's where I remember you from. Um, where yeah. was that? Where was the school? Where, where did you grow up? Um, on the Gold Coast. Gold Coast. In Queensland. Queensland. In Australia. Yeah. yeah it's <laughs> in Australia. <laughs> did you then move apart or did you stay in the same area for um, all of your I school st years? I stayed in the Gold Coast all my life. Yeah. But so I moved school I went to a different school so we only did primary school together it's primary school is like grade one to four or how was uh, it what is one it in to Australia sev uh, sev it was one to seven one to seven yeah okay yeah. and then you go like in secondary school and yeah. do yeah your I uh, yeah and we like kind of split up like, and yeah. then um I moved to Sydney okay and with your family then no just no. myself so okay. I moved out when I was 16 all right to like pursue dance and I moved to a school where that, it was like an academy where you dance in the day and do school yeah. at night and I've lived in Sydney ever since. Oh. Yeah. Do you like it? I love it. Oh, everyone says that. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been to Australia? No, I haven't. No. I haven't. Uh, Vashti actually has family who lives, I think, in Melbourne, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh really? Yes, yeah, one of her uncles. They moved oh, nice. there when I think their children were 14 and 15. Yeah. And now they graduated, so they've been there three or four years. Mm -hmm. And her best friend from high school or school lives in New Zealand. I, mean, I know it's not mm -hmm. that close, but for... Europeans, yeah, it seems like it's world. the same, same thing. Yeah. 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 Even though it's still, uh, what is it, four hours flight, five hours flight? Yeah. yeah depending on where you are in Australia, probably. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Have you been to Australia, Heidi? Actually, a lot of my family are from there. Oh, really? I'm not Australian. I, to be honest, when I was younger, I used to be like, I'm part Australian because my family <laughs> live there, but I'm not at all. But no, my auntie, uncles, cousins, and then distant family live there. So I went when I was 18, and then I went when I was about four or five maybe mm -hmm. but no i absolutely love that i've always said i wanted to move at some point yeah um chase after the girls again <laughs> but no i yeah i feel like the australian lifestyle is so cool and you have they have such good dancers the training is like unreal yeah, why is that is there, there's a lot i mean in the showgirl scene i know there's a lot yeah. i think obviously our choreographer rihanna is from australia sources yeah. a lot yeah. from there and she wants to give a lot of Australian girls' jobs, which yeah, is fair enough. Which is, yeah. we love her for that. Yeah. Yeah. There's so much talent there. We yeah. were saying but there's a lot of so yeah. I feel like Australians are super hard workers, especially because Australia feels so far, well, it's yeah. so far away from everywhere else. No. So yeah. to, and there's not much work in Australia for dancers. So if we want to work professionally, we have to go elsewhere. Yes. So I feel like that's why we train really, 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 really hard to prove to the rest of the world that yeah. we're good that enough, we're, you know, because yeah. it's, it's yeah. easier for Europeans to get European contracts. Yeah, of course, you know? yeah. Is there a bigger in emphasis on dance in school? Why, or is there a reason why you have more? Or is it just because you have you don't have necessarily more, but you have maybe more who are eager to, to make it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure, really. Like, I mean, lots of girls when they're little all want to dance and do ballet, yeah. but I feel like a lot of 
girls I knew just kind of stuck to it and then realised that they were like kind of good at it and then really yeah. honed in and trained on that. Um, and we have some really good schools to okay. train at yeah. as well, yeah. which yeah. I think helps you push to pursue it professionally. Yeah. And we have a different kind of training to like everywhere else in the world. It's kind of a one year thing. Okay. You put your, like after school and whatnot, you put your all into it for this one year. You train all day, like all weekend, everything, mm. and then that's it. Then you're out in the world and you, performing yeah. and whatnot. Whereas someone like Heidi in the UK, they do multiple years of yeah. So I did Yeah, so I did three years. So I did yeah. a degree in London yeah. at Musical Theatre College, which was amazing. I had the best time. I mean, it was in COVID, so it's actually very different. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we have a much like longer process, really. Yeah. But then on that note, to be fair, with the whole how intense it is, because three years, again, it's really intense. And mm. I did my degree in just nine months of the last year um i have friends and people i know who've not pursued the professional career no but like i feel like the skills it teaches you like discipline for one time management everything like i feel like you can always tell someone who's been a dancer mm. um just because of how you're trained and how like brutal it is like i feel like you're made to have thick skin, skin yeah. yeah so like even if you go on to be a lawyer a doctor anything like I feel like it really helps, like having that training, because well, it's brutal in a way, but it's, it's character building. It's similar to, to a, probably a semi-professional, professional sports yeah. in yeah, a way. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. I think, but I think I talked to the other girls last time about the auditioning process. I oh, think yeah. that's yeah. where there's a big difference where you're judged on also looks, talent, it's so brutal. type, yeah. and yeah. that's yeah. just a day or just that's the context you have. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. I think and that's that one of the something. hardest. Yeah, yeah, I bet it is. It yeah. is, yeah. The hardest it's part It's very, like, soul-destroying as well. Yeah. Because you know? sometimes you could be the absolute best in the room, but you just have the wrong hair colour. Yeah, for example. Or it's yeah. like some things or the are wrong just height completely or, wrong height, yeah. completely, like, out of your control. Sometimes it's even they're looking to replace someone, so you have to fit into their costume, so you have to be the exact measurement. Like, yeah. so... Mm -hmm. It's just so specific. Sometimes you can't just rely on your own like talent. You just got to go in open mind. Sure. If it's for me, then it's meant to be, and if not, then the next thing will come up. Then you, you know? move on, yeah. Yeah, and and it's such a strange. It's such a strange thing. Like I didn't really realize how brutal it was until you talked to a, a non-dancer. Like I, I was yeah. explaining it yeah. to my boyfriend, and he was just gobsmacked that you just get cut then and there, and then you yeah. go home. They yeah. tell you if they want you or not on the spot. Like in other football, or like he does um, football, and like they will email you later, you know, not in front of everybody, yeah. and tell you whether you made it or not. But yeah, I remember when I told him, oh no, you just go. Sometimes you'll be there for ten minutes and get cut, and then you have to go home. Yeah. You know? Is that the norm? Sorry. Is that the norm? A yeah. lot of yeah. the times, yeah. I think especially in the open calls, the big auditions. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it can literally be like you, you, you. Thanks, bye. And yeah. you, you, you will keep. It's like in the school playground where it's like, I want to play with you and not you. Yeah, like it's, it's very yeah. Like that. At least you don't have to hang around, but still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's, it's hard tough. as yeah. well. It's mentally challenging. Yeah. yeah. Yes, very much. Is it, is, it is good in the sense that you're not waiting around hoping. No. Yeah. If if everybody just stays to the end, you know, like at least you know if you get caught, then you don't have to think about it. You know, that's just it. You don't have to. Yeah wait around for an email like thinking yeah, you got it or not yeah. yeah i guess that's a good thing but i remember in my last year of college i was in third year and i'd done a contract over winter so I, i'd not been home for mm. like quite a good few months um and then i cut my february half term short to go down like i paid to a train back to london missed all these plans my friends and family back home i was like doing this audition for a dream company I'd always want to work with, which I actually went on to work for. And I was like, I'm going to book this job. This is so me. This is perfect. Did an across the floor sequence, danced for about seven minutes. And they were, I was like, smashed it. Got it in the back ID. You've absolutely smashed it. They were like, thanks for your time. I was like, uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so strange. But then two weeks later, I like booked a job for the same company. So it's literally just like, you can't even... Yeah, it's a chance. You almost can't it's take it to heart, in a sense. Yeah. 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 But anyway. it is so... You do yeah, take it to ooh, heart. Yeah. You're like, they don't want me. What's wrong with me? You know? Yeah, of course. But... One of my singing teachers from years ago actually said to me a really good thing, that if they get cut from an audition, they go treat themselves to a nice coffee. They get a prayer or a Starbucks or whatever you want in London. <laughs> nice and coffee. Yeah, nice Starbucks. coffee. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the Aussie coffee, Christ. Uh, but, um, go. <laughs> God, the debate starts. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they have their coffee, think about it, you know, 
feel a bit rubbish about it, whatever, that's normal. Yeah. And then they finish their coffee, put it in the bin and that's that. And I thought that's a really nice way to look at it. Because of course you're going to dwell on it, you're going to think, and you're going to feel a bit like rubbish, whatever. But then coffee's in the bin, that's done. Yeah. Nothing more to go over it then now. Do you talk in your training about that? Is there something like where they give you some sort of, like this for example, that advice? Yeah. Where it's, what is that, maybe even a, a class where you have how to audition? Things like that? Is, or is there yeah, we definitely do kind of like mock auditions, yeah. so like practice auditions. Okay, yeah. And so your teachers will be like on the panel yeah. and kind of doing cuts and whatnot. And then they'll like generally at the end, they'll bring everyone in and give you individual feedback or yeah. feedback as a whole. But it doesn't really prepare you, does it? Yeah, yeah. it kind of yeah. doesn't, kind of doesn't because there's nothing really like actually being in the audition room yeah. and then With people you've never met before and yeah yeah exactly yeah. and then also trying to battle your own like demons inside like your nerves and yeah. anxieties and all that kind of stuff so it's kind of a bit trial and error because every audition is completely different you no. really never know like what you're going to rock up and do um so you always got to keep every pair of shoes, yeah. dance shoes. So got many in your bags. shoes. Yeah. You walk into the audition with like <laughs> ten bags. Sorry, hit my mic. But um, yeah. Uh, Sassy told me yesterday that I think she's going for a crazy horse audition oh, next yeah. year. I think. Wow. And she told me that they do, I don't know, it's like seven minutes of freestyle, or yeah. six yeah. minutes, yeah. something like that, yeah. where they're just put on stage. Yeah. I don't probably they don't wear a lot because the, the show yeah. is yeah. very random song as well. Random yeah. song they yeah, just dance. Crazy Horse is quite renowned for how crazy their audition <laughs> yeah, yeah. process is because mm. normally it's multiple rounds, multiple cuts, different styles of dance to yeah. see your versatility. Whereas Crazy Horse is what Sassy said. Yeah. You're on stage and you just you make up your own dance mm. on the spot. Yeah. yeah. You don't know what to, to a random is. song. Yeah. Better be drunk. Well, yeah. 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 It might help actually. Yeah. And yeah, <laughs> you just you're just wearing tipsy. nothing really and you just gotta you gotta work it and own that stage and then you get hired or not. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Any one of you worked in Paris? I have. Yeah. 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 Where? At Palm Moulin. Oh really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> when was it? Last um, year? Um in twenty eighteen, twenty nineteen. All right. I just said a year. Yeah. Was and it right after school? Or when did you finish? Yeah, it was in after school. I did the the year of training, and yeah. it was just towards the end of that, so I didn't get to finish my full year. Did and I went over. Yeah. Did yeah. you go to Paris for auditioning, or did they audition in Australia? Um, they they come to uh, before COVID. They used to come to Australia every two years. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm. So I did the audition when I was a baby, when I was like sixteen, just for experience, yeah. and then again two years later when I was seventeen. Just eighteen now. Yeah. Seventeen now. Yeah. Did you like yeah, it? Yeah, just turned eighteen. Yeah, loved it. Yeah. Yeah. Paris That's young to be in. Like that's 18. young, yeah. yeah, on the side of the world, yeah. yeah. So what's that your first contract? Yeah. Oh wow. It's crazy. Yeah. Straight very, to the top. Very lucky. <laughs> yeah, straight very to the lucky. top. Yeah. Didn't even work your way <laughs> up. That's for our Holly. <laughs> oh god. Did you speak French then, or did you did you learn a bit? Oh, no, not no. really. Enough to to get by, you know. No. At the grocery store. We did a year, and then like you that. you stopped. That was yeah. that one year contract. Yeah, just one year, and then I was supposed to go off on a on a cruise ship after that, but then COVID. Just okay. Hit immediately. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. So I stopped for a while, and this is, this is actually the first contract oh, really? I've done since. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Are your uh, jobs lined up afterwards? Are you going home first and chill? Yeah. A little I bit. Know. Honestly, who knows? You I'd know love yet. to. I feel like it's every dancer's dream to be like, I know what I'm doing next. Can plan. Yeah. Like plan my life around it. But no, don't have a clue. But to be honest, like a few weeks ago, I was feeling so negative about it, and I was like, Oh, this, this is so. Blah, 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 blah. Then now I just think, you know, some, something's going to come. You know, we've all trained and worked hard enough. Um, and it's just a matter of when. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm lucky in the sense I'm from the UK. Like, I'm, I'm from Yorkshire, but London's a four-hour train, and there's yeah. always so much happening in London. Yeah. London's amazing. So I'm just going to keep travelling down, auditioning for as much as possible. I'd love to keep, you know, doing showgirl work and travelling, for yeah. sure. I definitely want to see as many places as I can with work. Yeah. So we'll see. Don't know. Yeah. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> and do you like the showgirl? Like showgirl dancing is obviously different to what's called urban dancing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is there preference? Do you have any? Like, do you like that? Or is I personally, I love showgirl. Yeah. It's like I just love dressing up in the big costumes and big feathers and just yeah. prancing around. <laughs> <laughs> I really like yeah, it. Yeah, I think. Um, I like now I like showgirl the best. Um, when I was like younger in training, I was like, yeah, hip hop, yeah, 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 this. But 
I think like I mean we're all quite tall, so like yeah. you got to work with what you got. Yeah. But showgirl is definitely like what Holly said, getting to like dress up in all these amazing like costumes and these big like wings mm, and you know it's yeah. incredible yeah. to yeah. like be able to do that for work. So that's I think that's definitely my favorite nowadays. Yeah. yeah. But you've not done a dinner show before, have you? Any one of you? No. Have you done dinner show? I've done. They don't have any in Australia, do they? But it's like. So it's called Showboat and it's a boat, a mini cruise ship and okay. it goes around Sydney Harbour, oh. like <laughs> under the Opera House to the, um, yeah. uh, no, under the Harbour Bridge to the Opera House and like all around. And that's a dinner show, but it's like, it's a three hour cruise. So they mm. eat dinner and we dance and they eat and we dance. And so similar to this, but like on a way more scaled back yeah. version. Okay. Yeah. Well, on a on boat. Sorry? Um, on a boat. On a boat, yes. Yeah. A very rocky boat in the middle of <laughs> Sydney Harbour doing a can-can, but yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seems in dangerous. The, in the UK, we don't... Yeah, we really don't have much show. No. I, was n I honestly was never really known about it through college because I trained in musical theatre, yeah. which I love and I, I would love to do at one point, but I'm going to say my love's definitely moving towards more dance-related thing. Probably, like... Showgirl, and I love all things like commercial, contemporary, commercial like dance, every yeah. single style. Like I just want to finish my career whenever that may be and say like I've done as many different things as possible. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm definitely so happy I've like done this job, met the girls and like been made aware of Showgirl because it's such a cool job. Like, yeah. and it's so crazy to me that so many people like from the UK, there's so many gorgeous dancers who would be perfect for it, but don't really and they're no chasing the West End dream yeah. sort of. Which yeah. obviously is amazing. Which is great too. It's yeah. just yeah. different, yeah. yeah oh yeah, for sure. sure. Yeah, last year was the same. She was obviously always a singer, a singer dancer a bit more, but mainly yeah. singer. And she did a lot of pantomimes and yeah. she did a lot yeah. of cruises as well as well and did some off West End things yeah. and was always close to the big West End jobs and then somehow she ended up in, in Mannheim in Palazzo. Yeah. She never knew about it. Mm. And yeah. she got yeah. flown into Mannheim and she's like, What what is this even? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. no, yeah. And crazy. she had no idea what was going on and then she's friends of hers, all of them they didn't know anything about the dinner shows. Yeah. Which are in Germany obviously very, very big. And yeah. Some bordering countries, but mainly in Germany. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Even oh god, it's massive here. Like. Yeah. We have about twenty tens, I think. Yeah, wow. that's in different yeah, cities. So yeah. And it's We're always busy as well. It is, yeah. I mean, just February was a bit more quiet, but besides that, yeah. still 300 people in general. Yeah, no, for yeah. sure. Yeah. And Saarbrücken is not really the biggest city. I mean, yeah. It's big enough, but yeah. it's not really... Yeah. It's not London, for example. Yeah. But it's I weird, because like, we didn't even... like, or Did not really audition for this job? No. Yeah, this is a workshop. Yeah, yeah. so... Like workshop, yeah. Cause yeah, because I was thinking about you, but... No, like, we didn't audition for this job, so like, I didn't even obviously know about it, but I did... Um, a workshop, the London Showgirl Experience, oh, yeah, which is yeah. part of Sunday Sessions. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, with Rhea and Bodhi. And it was incredible. And it, I just saw it as that, oh, that's a fun three days. Like, I just came back off my last contract. Can be in London, train loads. You know, learn something. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And the amount I learned was crazy. Mm. And just like, I remember looking at really like, wow, I want to be like you. Yeah. And it was just so surreal. And from that, I was like, oh, there are all these jobs and all these great people and traveling and experiences mm. yeah and from that like obviously i was lucky enough to get this contract which has just opened a whole new world but i think it's just so important to just like throw yourself out there you have like to I try would, things yeah. yeah i would have never have put myself as a showgirl or like i was never really taught how to like properly bevel and things like that but yeah from that like three days it like gave me so much confidence and like really opened my eyes a bit yeah for sure so it's the showgirl technique not really something you learn in in school or in, it's in, really, in your, in your it's course? It's quite pushed in, in Australia. Oh, it is in Australia. Yeah, I think because um, like Mulan and other like Lido when it was open, they love Aussies. So mm. lots of Aussies went over, professionally worked yeah. with showgirls and then came back and would teach and a lot. Teach, yeah. So okay, we have yeah. lots of showgirl teachers. So we, yeah, yeah we would. A lot of studios and yeah, classes at, and at workshops. Yeah. Time, we would have a showgirl class every week. Whereas oh, wow. In, oh, yeah, you didn't? Not every week, oh. like maybe once a month. Oh, really? <coughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I, we were trained a lot in it. Yeah. But then in London. Like, yeah. yeah, it's just not, I think it's definitely probably growing and there yeah. are some good shows in the yeah. UK, showgirl shows, but it's just on such a lesser scale. Yeah. And obviously musical theatre is just like massive. Yeah. But it's just so little jobs and there's so yeah. many talented people. But, but it's the James in, in Germany as well. We I think we had one German dancer Yeah. in 
13 years. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's not, there's almost none, no showgirl dancers from yeah. Germany. Yeah. They yeah. probably have a lot of dancers, but they're all either on television, they're yeah. either in yeah. the music, they're yeah, in a lot of like Hamburg, yeah. West End productions. Yes. And maybe a lot of like urban uh, hip hop. Yeah. Because the, the German musical theatre scene is mm. massive as well. Yeah, yeah we, have, like, um, in the, my, my, we have in Cologne some big ones and in Hamburg. Yeah, yeah. That's so there, for example, they have um, the Lion King, yeah. which is, but it's completely in German translated, yeah. and the songs are in German and everything. Oh, it's been running funny. for know, yeah. twenty years almost. Wow. Yeah. Now they have the Moulin Rouge musical in Cologne as well. Yes. Yeah, that's unreal. It's all in German. Oh, that's great. I couldn't imagine because I think Hamilton was here at one. Hamilton was here and it didn't work. Is it not really? No, it didn't work. Oh my god, that's such a shame. I think they should have done it in English. Right. right. It's something like that I don't think works in translating it, even though even if That's the translation nice. is good. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to see it in March in, in London. Oh, yeah. Cool. Amazing. And I didn't want to, I, I wanted to go to see it in New York, but I mean, yeah. you don't really go every year to New York, so. Yeah. Rashti's parents gifted it for my birthday in, in London. Oh, wow, so fun. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. I've seen the, the production on Disney Channel, I think, Disney Plus. Yeah, I've watched that yeah. so many times. I wrote my degree on that. I've seen it really? too many times. Yeah. 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 It's really cool. But it's so good. Yeah. It's so, good. so we have all these um, music hits and things in Germany, but it's I don't know why. Maybe Reed doesn't really cast German dancers, or maybe there aren't actually really that many. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't know. Yeah. Even though we have yeah. that many shows, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, and yeah, they should know him. And in Hamburg, there's one as well. Yeah. 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 Even yeah. like I have a friend who's working. Well, she's finished now, but she worked in Heidelberg like this past yeah. season, and she's Aussie. And then the other three girls in her ca cast were from the UK as well. Mm. So it's like even interesting that another company is hiring like Australians. In but their choreographer is Australian as well, I think. Yeah. It's or English? I'm not sure what, where she's from. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. But it, yeah, it's interesting. I wonder what like... I also maybe thought it has to do with personality and character since yeah, maybe. the German character is obviously different to an English or Australian character yeah. where I always felt it's a bit more bubbly which helps yeah, especially yeah. for showgirl dancing where you have to it's a very big smile it's very big yeah. gestures and yeah. maybe it's also that the character is not not always fitting yeah. <laughs> okay. I find yeah. Aussies and Brits are very similar yeah, yeah. Like we have very similar personalities Do and, we and get along really well <laughs> yeah. and click really well well yeah. I don't know <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. a lot of English came from Australia yeah that's true oh, yeah that's so true yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were pretty Back even split of like Aussies and English, aren't we? Yeah, in the cast. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's funny actually because I going back a back a few about n knowing people. I didn't I didn't know anyone, but I knew of Emily. Oh, really? Um, yeah, one of our other dancers. Um, because I did a workshop at her college, like when I was auditioning mm -hmm. to go to drama school at what seventeen or whatever eighteen. Um, yeah, and I remember she was a helper there, and I was like. Yeah. She was on such a pedestal in my eyes. I was like, oh my God, I worship this girl. Fell down in Instagram for years. And I was like, oh God, I'm on a contract with her. Hello. <laughs> yeah, it was so weird. I was like, oh, she's this scary girl and she's older than me and she goes to this college. But she's yeah, literally now the opposite like, of scary. Yeah, literally. Yeah. <laughs> like the, the polar opposite. Now yeah. we're like such good friends. Yeah. But it's weird as well in that industry how you kind of, it's one thing I hate about it, how people kind of put people on pedestals and. That's where normal. they've worked or where they go, yeah. and I suppose it's yeah. normal. It's even in gastronomy with chefs. Yeah, yeah of it's course. a big thing too. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. it's an unachievable Michelin yeah. star, and then you just do the work, and somehow you find yourself all of a sudden there as well. Yeah, yeah. it's just uh, it's obviously it's talent, but it's a lot more, I think, drive yeah. and wanting yeah. to do the and work. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, then sure. you, you, if you want a bit, bit of luck, it is always a bit of luck. Mm -hmm. yeah. Being in the right moment in time. Yeah, for sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah, of course. Hundred percent. But my dad always says, if you don't, if you don't try it, then you're not ever gonna be in a position of luck. Yeah, you never. So know. you need to put That's yourself right. into the yeah. situations. Yeah, for sure. and, and in your case, with castings or auditions, it's, it is scary. Mm. It's difficult, but. Yeah, I feel like we're all quite good in the sense because we, we know the career we've chosen. Yeah. We would kind of all put ourselves out there for anything and. Mm even though you sometimes made to feel like an idiot or whatever. <laughs> it's like, you got to put yourself out. It's like yeah. any career again. Was it always your dream to become a dancer? Yeah, yeah. When, I, when I was really <laughs> little, <laughs> I wanted to be a horse. <laughs> <laughs> and then horse, when okay. that wasn't 
<laughs> like an actual horse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Didn't work out, did it? No, my mum <laughs> kind of crushed that dream for me. And so the next best thing was was ballerina. It's always ballerina with yeah. okay. And then like it kind of migrates over to dance. But yeah, always wanted to be. You a could have done this horse stick uh, yeah. jump. Have you seen that? So that you're basically a horse, and <laughs> in a way yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to be a horse. Yeah, it's my dream. Did you horse riding at riding at least? I did. Yeah. yeah okay. Still Maybe where it comes why. from. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I did when I was younger. Holly, did you always want to be become a, a dancer? Um, or did it just grow? I think. Um, a little bit. There was. I feel like everybody kind of goes through that little phase when you're studying. From becoming teenager, a superstar. Yeah. yeah. Where you're like, I don't want to do this. I hate dance. Mm. Remember? Right. And I went through that phase a little bit, but mm. luckily my mum forced me oh, to yeah. stay. <laughs> and then kind of when yeah, when it, when I was in high school, almost finishing high school, that's when I decided that I definitely wanted to do full time yeah. dance and keep going. Yeah. But yeah. I wanted to be a pizza delivery. Um, oh, really? Man, I used to say, pizza delivery man, because only men deliver pizzas. I remember thinking when I was younger. Um, and then I wanted to be an air hostess, but this was when I was really little. But no, I've always wanted to dance. Yeah. I feel like I've always been a bit... So it kind of fits. Yeah. Like I'm very loud and very you know, out there. So yeah, I've always wanted to be a dancer. I, I didn't really take it seriously. With I've danced since I was three at um, my nan's dance school, but I didn't really take it seriously till about 16, where I went to mm. a school in Leeds. And my high school teacher just like he just really believed in me and he just gave me so much like time energy everything that since there i've been like so set on it yeah and i've kind of i mean we're all the same but sacrificed so much like friendships relationships everything missed out on like so much to pursue this career so i kind of think to myself oh god i have to be successful you know yeah. gave a lot which we you know i'm sure we all feel the yeah. same yeah. Which is a good thing in a way, because you know it's again it's discipline, it's perseverance. But yeah, since sixteen, I've always wanted to do this. Yeah, I mean it's a career where you also, as you just said, you have to give up a lot. Yeah, like yeah. relationships, for example, is probably yeah. very difficult. Yeah, like long term, always moving around. Yeah. Mm. I just don't bother altogether. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to do yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, when Ash and I met after half a year, she went on a ship for. Six, six or seven months. Really? Yeah. 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 It's difficult, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. hard. I mean, yeah. long distance always difficult, but with yeah. ship, and then it was COVID as well. So I was just yeah. stuck at home. Yeah. <laughs> God. Oh, no. And the ship was allowed to, I think they were allowed to do cruises, but only the guests were allowed to go off. And yeah. Then oh, yeah, and the I don't know, some very, out. very, oh, and the, but yeah. the crew had to stay on the whole yeah. time. Yeah. I think only the last two months of her contract, she was allowed to go off boat oh and God, see the really? destinations and such yeah oh that's cool yeah. they did like two months of dry docking or like a month yeah. of dry docking in some yeah very strange harbour in Portugal we did <laughs> isolation on times. a ship is tough yeah. as well like I I went on my ship it was Covid was kind of settling the cast before me had it so rough They, I think they got off something like three days in their whole contract which was crazy um, but like I remember I had to wear the K95 Mass yeah. absolutely everywhere like yeah it was crazy the only time I couldn't wear them was obviously when I was dancing um, and we were constantly in isolation no. and like to me as well like that was my dream job and like I was working in Miami and stuff and we had so many cancelled days because of someone would test positive or whatever and it was it was really tough but I feel like with COVID again with dancers you just come back better like you come back stronger yeah. from it because you it was so tough you know yeah. Did you guys stay at home during COVID or were you on a on a contract as well? Yeah. I, I, was, I was at, at home. home. Yeah. A normal a normal person job. <laughs> which yeah. I actually loved. Um, what did you do? I worked as a graphics designer. Graphic? Nice. Yeah. Did you study for that or did you just No, it just kind of stumbled into my lap. I was yeah. I was hired for something else and then they asked if I could learn it. Try it. And yeah. I picked it up quite easily and quickly, which was good and then yeah, it was really nice and it was good that I could still be creative. Yeah. In a sense. Are you still um, doing it on the side? Bit. Or you uh, a little bit. I Photoshop the girls' photos all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we take photos backstage and we're like, Holly, if there's can like you fix <laughs> your hair in this one? And she's like, on her Photoshop. And it's yeah. all on the microphone. Yeah. And there's like, yeah, props in the background. I'll yeah. just get rid of them. Yeah. To make yeah. me into a horse. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, <laughs> literally. At least can have a, a tail. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I, I was at home and I was just working normal person job, but like just retail and whatnot. And then... That's when my best friend from home and I decided 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 to start a podcast. Yeah. And so that was like Holly was saying, like it was a nice like creative output. Mm. 
um, to do when we couldn't dance yeah. and whatnot. So I started that and then that kind of took off and I still have that to this day as like a little side hustle. Type yeah. Thing. yeah. So, so what's the podcast about? Drop the name. Drop um, the name. It's so just name like, shout out. <laughs> well, actually, we're in the middle of like a name change. So I don't Ooh. want to tell there that it's like a, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Set but, up. Um, <laughs> it's just like girl talk, really. Yeah. It's just my friend and I, we just sit there and we just like chat shit, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> and just like talk about what's going on in our lives. But then also we started it when we were both single. And so it was like single life, yeah. like. And during COVID. <laughs> yeah, things like that. Crazy. And so it's just something that we wanted for people to put on in the background, like while they're cooking or while they're driving or whatever, so they could like just feel like they were yeah. just part of the conversation. Yeah, sitting yeah. at home on the couch with the girls chatting, yeah. Yeah. kind of a thing. But I found after, I think this is the seventh or eighth episode, yeah. that is a very pleasant way of acting doing content one but also having a communication or having a conversation yeah because you're uninterrupted like yeah. there's no one interrupting it's just not a phone call or anything you just yeah can sit down with someone for yeah, an hour so and, and have a chat yeah yeah like you would do with a friend for example yeah, yeah. and that is normal for you to yeah. probably to sit down and just have a chat yeah, yeah. and because we used to live together and we would do everything together um and then because i lived with a few girlfriends we all kind of like went our separate ways people moved in with partners and whatnot and so it's actually really nice to sit down with her once a week for an hour and like actually just chat because we couldn't do that because we yeah, weren't living together. So yeah, and then the podcast kind of shifted less about going out and having fun and more about like, oh my gosh, how are you? I haven't seen you in so no. long, like mm. what's going on in your life? And more like genuine conversations, I would say. Is yeah. she a dancer as well? Yeah, she trained dance, but she's more wanting to go into acting now okay so she does like a lot of back home in sydney a lot of like live acting like theater mm. um but i think she wants to get into like more screen acting yeah so all the best for her love you amy <laughs> <laughs> a lot of famous Shana. australian actors aren't there actors yeah. Yeah. yeah there's a lot especially now right now it is what was it so didn't know that oh yeah, Margot Robbie, she's she's Australian. Yeah, she? yeah, she went to my high school. Oh, did yeah. she? Yeah. She lives where my dance college was. She lives in Surrey. Right now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah in Surrey? Right. In... Yeah. How far? Where? Just, it's like just outside. I said outside London. Outside of London, like Just yeah. outside of like Surrey. Yeah. Who else lives in Surrey? Like it's not one from the girls outside? from Surrey? From the other? Yeah, it's Kate. Yeah, Kate is no, from Kate. No, Kate, no, Kate's from Cambridge, but she's lived in Surrey she lives, for a bit. That's what it is, yeah. Yeah, she's lived there for a bit. It's a gorgeous place. How do you spell it? You're surely not S O or double R. No, it's S U R E Y. E Y. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. It's S U R O Y. Yeah, I would have just said Y, but I don't know. I'm Aussie. No, I'm going to say E Y. Okay. I'm going to make that. Agree to disagree. It's online now. We need a fact checker on this page. Yeah, I do. Yeah, fact check. 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 Yeah, fact or no, this is my first, That's your first European contract, and it's been great. <laughs> I want to do more. Yeah. Has it been the first time here in Europe? First time in Germany? Have you been So, first time in Germany, mm. but um, the summer of uh, 23, I did Hot Girl Euro Summer. <laughs> All right. So it's Sounds like fun. a really big thing. It's, with it's quite an Aussie thing, yeah. Yeah, so like, like, the girls, girls didn't actually girls. know what yeah. it was. I've never heard of it. Yeah, yeah. so it's like obviously summer. opposite seasons in Australia. So it's yeah. like winter in Australia. Yeah. And um, winter. it's a big thing. Yeah, winter, <laughs> winter. It's still 20 degrees every day. Yeah. Um, it's a big thing to go over to Europe and do, we call it Euro Summer. And you like go Escape there. The cold. It's kind of like a backpacking okay. yeah. thing, but you do it. Over for weeks. Yeah, yeah, for a few weeks. What so Germans I, do in Australia, basically. Yeah, 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 literally. So I did that, yeah, um, like six months ago. Yeah. That was my first time in Europe yeah. then. And I didn't come to Germany because I already knew that I had this contract. So I was mm. like, I'll visit Germany when I live there. Mm. So I went to all the, I guess, mainstream countries yeah. like Greece, mm. Italy, Paris. I went to London, mm. stuff like that. And it was amazing. It was so fun. Yeah. Because I'd never like, I've been to America and stuff, but it's just, I've never been on the other side of the world like that, you know? And I feel it's a bit more old, old country. Yeah. Depending where you go. Yeah. Mm. And like, it's so far. 
to come like from Australia like you think oh yeah it's the other side of the world but like it actually is so far yeah, yeah. and I remember we wanted cheap air fares over so we were like just the longest airfare we can that's <laughs> the cheapest and it took us 36 hours 36 hours how many Back flights to to and we stopped we did like two stopovers one in Thailand one in Dubai and it was it was <laughs> death it was terrible <laughs> We rocked up to Paris at like 7 a.m. We were all like, oh, oh. <laughs> stinky and gross. Yeah, no, <laughs> ew, nothing worse. Well, you've got that hours. coming up with your long. Yeah. Yeah, not that long. No, it's God. only 24 hours this time. Yeah. Were you flying day. to Singapore for, or you? To Abu, Abu Dhabi. Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. We're on yeah. the same flight home. Oh, yes. that's nice. So we can hold hands mm. together. So snaky <laughs> you guys. So Frankfurt, <laughs> Abu Dhabi, and then Abu Dhabi, Australia. Sydney. Yeah, to Sydney. Yeah. Sydney. And then I've got another flight, Sydney to Gold Coast. How long yeah. is that? That's only an hour. Oh, okay. so. But it's, it's like you're so close, but yeah. so far. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that much driving, is it, in Australia? Going driving? From, yeah, from city to city, is that? Uh, seems like it's far. Yeah, well, I've driven from Sydney to Gold Coast a few times, but it's like nine hours, okay. door to door. Yeah. yeah. And then by the time you stop and stop, ten, it ends up being like 10, 11 hours. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And it, I think it's about the same, maybe a little more to Melbourne, yeah. like 12 hours to Melbourne, I think, from Sydney. Yeah. And then Gold Coast to Melbourne, gosh, yeah. I don't know how long that would be. But yeah, you really need a car to get around anywhere in Australia. Yeah. yeah. Even just like in, within your city, just to different areas, like the public transport's mm -hmm. so terrible. Okay. Compared to like places like here in Europe where yeah. you can just get on a train to a different country, like yeah. that's insane. Yeah. yeah. We have the luxury from in Zabrücken to be in two hours in Paris, which yeah. is- Yeah, that's amazing. That's we quite nice, we yeah. went on this contract. Yeah. We did like a girly weekend at this, like right at the start. And we were like there in like an hour and a half. I mean, I suppose I'm from the UK, so like it is a short flight, but- it's, like it's, it's so insane. easy just hopping on a train. train. It's insane shorter. going into yeah. a different country. Like at home, we get on a flight for two hours and you're in the same state. Yeah. Whereas here, yeah. you on that and you're in like yeah, You take it for granted, away. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Especially yeah. you, you hop on the train here, you get off oh, and 45 minutes later and you're in a completely different culture, different country, yeah. different, yeah. Language, different language, different yeah, uh, architecture. Yeah. Where, if, for example, if you're in the United States, you go from, yeah. let's say, from Kansas City to, I don't know, Dallas. Mm. It is obviously a difference, but it's still yeah. the same country, yeah. similar yeah. culture, yeah, uh, sure. same language, similar architecture. I mean, we're so close to like France here. Like, I, I feel like it's very. Oh, you can French run. You can walk there. I right? have. Yeah. Heidi does. Oh, yeah, if you're yeah. a runner. Yeah. Big on running. Yeah, yeah. I love Again, that. Again, no. I, I just think it's so cool to say, like, I think it's such a flex, but like, I ran to France. Like, it's just yeah. so cool. And it's <laughs> such a pretty, especially Cyberpunk, and so gorgeous. And then you could just run along a river and then you're in a different country. Like, it's yeah. so crazy to me. Yeah, Saarbrück is not that bad. Has some nice parts. That's it. Has some not so nice parts as well. But I think it's gorge. Yeah, you I like think it. it's yeah, Sheffield. I really like it's it. up there. I, when <laughs> I got here and there was a Zara, mm. I was like, oh my god, because I was like, Saarbrück, I've never heard of this town. It's just gonna be shacks. Yeah. <laughs> and like, where am I gonna yeah. be living out with the donkeys or something? I don't know. <laughs> but the, it's hopefully like the horses. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully <laughs> the, the horses. <laughs> yeah, but it's like an actual like city yeah i would say not like a little town it's so cute i love it here yeah i think it's 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 nice for this kind of contract because you've got everything you need you've no. got we can go shopping we can go out for dinner we can have drinks whatever we want but then there's also nature as i say like my runs and walks is like what keeps me like stable like i hmm. absolutely love that side of it and like and the girls go like we walk to the tent a lot as well yeah, yeah. um and it's so nice to have that side yeah. of things it's not yeah. overwhelming so i think you can feel yeah rather quickly yeah. at home yeah, well, yeah, yeah sort of at home yeah. yeah so what was normal what does a normal day look like when you're in a car uh, on Ooh. a show day just out well it depends if i'm waking up for breakfast or not because obviously we do have late nights here but normally i'll sort of wake up and i'll either go to the gym or go on a run mainly running i've really found my love for it here yeah because i just think you don't run before as much yeah I ha i've i've run like a lot since i was 19 with like dips and breaks of contracts and stuff but as a side note, I think it's so important to have like a hobby outside yeah. of dance that you can like just enjoy and that not be your whole career. So I normally will do that in the morning, come home, shower, chill out, maybe watch some YouTube, um, maybe even have a pool and a sauna yeah. because we have that in the, the hotel. Pool has that, the hotel has that, yeah. Um, yeah, have a shower, meet up, meet up with the girls, maybe go for a coffee or something, and then yeah, head into the tent. We obviously get transport to work, but. A lot of the times we walk and it's really nice. Yeah. So and when does the working day start? Working day, we 
get a lift to the tent at five. Um, and if we walk, we walk from about four, which for all of us is so nice because we can have our day to ourselves. We can yeah. hang out if we want or a lot of the time just like be in our own space, be in our own little bubble and then come into work at five o'clock till probably we're home about 12, so half 12. So have the energy to be in the working day and be present and be with the girls and socializing because you've had the whole day to just do yeah. what you want. Yeah. yeah, and be able to talk about what you got up, yeah, up for to sure. that day. And yeah. yeah, especially coming from like a ship contract, it's so refreshing to be like, oh, I've not seen you in like, you know, this many hours. How are you doing? Like, yeah. what have you done today? And, and ships, we you always, always, and you always have roommates. Yeah. yeah. As dancers, most of the time there's shared cabins. Yeah. Yeah, bunk beds. Bunk beds. Yeah, bunk, beds. <laughs> bunk beds. Yeah. But yeah, we all pretty much do the same in a day. Yeah, my day's very similar. Yeah. I'm a breakfast girly. <laughs> so you go to breakfast every yeah. morning? She I does love, like every um, day. I love breakfast and the, and the coffee. Gotta have a coffee. Yeah. Not as good as the Aussie, but we weren't, we weren't we going to get into it. You need to explain that to me because I, I, don't, I haven't understood that you're, to this day. You're a coffee drinker. You I am, yeah, yeah. 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 But what is different to your Australian coffee? I don't know. It's, just it's different. Apparently. It's a lot stronger. Yeah. Yeah. And there's Maybe there's the just beans. love in it. <laughs> yeah. Beans. Love in it. It's, it's Do you have like a, a chain, yeah. or is it more like lo no, uh, local that's, stores? That's a big difference. When Heidi mentioned before about Starbucks, they tried to. We do have a couple of Starbucks here, but I remember they kind of opened up a whole heap and it just failed flopped because really? yeah. the coffee's bad for starters. Um, yeah, so I think but that. everybody <laughs> likes to <laughs> support small. Yeah, that's really Australian happen. life is very like wake up early, yeah. go for a swim, get a coffee, it chat like to a your barista. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like everyone likes to have like a little cafe they go they to. Go the barista to, yeah. knows your order. Yeah, that's yeah cute. how was the waves today? You know, yeah. like it's. It doesn't like, seem like real life. It's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's amazing. It is beautiful. Yeah. I am excited to go home. It always sounds like you're, all you have is time there and it's just chilling. Yeah. yeah, I think. Does every, anyone work? It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. It's a. I think that's also a, another reason why Australia doesn't have many dinner shows or shows in general because everybody yeah. wakes up at the crack of dawn. Mm. Like everybody's up for the sunrise. They do their morning walks, Exercise get exercising in the, in the morning, morning, get a coffee, dream. and then. So it's the night life, not as not as a big. Well, it probably it is, but everybody not like tends to go to bed. Evening entertainment. Early, Everyone goes to bed early. We're all nanas there. Yeah, like if it, if a show started at 10 p.m., like it's quite common in Europe for shows to start at 10. Everyone will be like, "That's way too late no, to start the night." Late. Yeah, a show starts at if you're going to go to a show, it starts at no. like seven, oh, really? and it's done by nine, yeah. and everyone's out of there. No one's staying for a drink afterwards. Yeah. So yeah. you go for dinner just before seven, then normally if you go for dinner. Yeah, I. Not like in Spain where you go at ten. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we are, about probably seven, seven thirty is the main hour. Yeah, I would say. yeah. So probably like home. Yeah. Okay too. My parents, gosh, they I reckon they're like the first ones in the restaurant, <laughs> yeah. like banging down the doors at five o'clock. <laughs> yeah. like, really? I'm not in. <laughs> but it's yeah, just it's a different just, culture, it's a whole different yeah. and with your weather vibe. and your scenery, like yeah, and because it, it's so hot, especially on the Gold Coast. You have to get up and do things before the, before the sun rises, yeah. otherwise it gets it's too, too hot. hot. Especially if you want to go for a run or go be outside and exercise. Yeah, if you if the sun's up for you know between two hours of the sun rising, it's way too hot yeah. to do anything outside. Yeah, so but it is kind of nice. So how do you maintain the fitness level? Do you, I mean, you run and dance obviously at night. Yeah, from, yeah. Is run that a lot and gym and just yeah, finding things that. Because I feel like we all just enjoy exercise, but dance is exercise. But because it's our job, it's like comes with judgment, this, your career, your money, your income. Like there's so much more to it. Whereas like we all enjoy exercise and keeping fit or whatever. So yeah. I think we're all really into the gym and running and walking because yeah. it's like an output you can do for your physical, keep you fit and your mental health. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's really important, especially when you're on like dance contracts to like, not just use dance as your like yeah, form no of way. movement yeah. for the day because mm -hmm. um, it gets a bit like taxing and so i always like i we go to the gym like, yeah we love no. the, we gym love the gym in town, in town that we well. can go there for sure and you have an active day if you dance for almost four hours i mean you're on stage yeah. basically yeah. the whole show yeah, yeah. i mean yeah. there's not that many like yeah. always when an artist even though with some acts you're on on stage with them yeah, so yeah. it's almost yeah well, i'd say like a good two hours twice. on stage at least yeah. 
And I feel like because every dance contract you're going to do is going to be different. It's going to be a different like physical output. Yeah, it can so be different example, style, different yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of work is different again. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like here we're on a lot, but then we have long breaks. So you've yeah. got to think, oh. Because of the food, yeah. Yeah, of yeah. So you've got to think, oh, we're not like, we've not got that cardio of trying to get through a seven minute can can or something like that. Yeah. So yeah. you think, right, so I need to still keep that up. So I'll practice sprint training or I'll practice, you know, hit session at the gym or what you're like, not missing, but what you're not doing in a dance contract, I think you should make up for it. No. Yeah. Um, so you're always keeping that. So if they turn around your next job, you go, oh, you're doing a 10 minute can can. You go, yep, I could do that. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. Have you all done the can can when we talk about it? Yeah, yeah, we actually all have. Yeah. 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 Do you, but you don't She's learn hard. it in school, do you? No. 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 I never did. No. Because no. no. every, I mean, obviously the Mulan Can Can is the traditional French. Yeah, yeah I've seen yeah. it last week uh, when I went oh, to Paris. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. never seen it before. Did you enjoy actually, it? Yeah, I was very impressed. Yeah. yeah. I actually like the show as well. I mean, it is dated. Yes. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. but they haven't changed it in 30 years. Yeah. yeah. 40 years, it, something yeah. like that. I think 80s, I think they came up with the show concept. Yeah. But it's very impressive. Yeah, it's uh, very impressive. I really liked it, especially the whole can can thing. It was just so high energy. Mm. Yeah, that's what it, it's like. You're on the whole yeah. time. Yeah. And I think it seems like painful. Painful? Yeah. <laughs> it looks painful, at least yeah. for someone who's not even remotely able to do a split. So. <laughs> your, your body yeah. definitely gets used to you it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's out. The, the rehearsal period the training is for what, it. what hurts. It's your, your legs getting used to it. And yeah, of course. I just remember my hamstrings were killing yeah. like for like weeks straight but then your, your body gets used to it and it doesn't hurt anymore it's also it a lot of time. repetition of where you do the cartwheels so you don't hit each other isn't it? i mean that yeah. seems to be chaotic yeah, it's all, yeah. yeah yeah and if one person is late or messes up it like yeah everything else is yeah. set back and milan a friend of ours who is dancing there right now she said they are, i think they have only two markings on the stage there's almost no marks mm. on the stage yeah there's only one like where you do the cartwheel Right. Start to, I don't know, I didn't really get it. <laughs> <laughs> but here we even have more markings than them. Yeah. Yeah, we had loads when I yeah. when I did it on the ship. I think we had like probably twelve each side. No. Yeah. But there, yeah, there was a lot of lot of girls in it. Then again in Mulan they do it. They have dancers, they've been there for ten plus years who so do yeah. it every night. Yeah, that's crazy. It's every night. Like they don't work every night, but yeah. it, it's insane that the show is full basically every night for the whole year. Yeah. We yeah. we had like reblocks like every single i think we did something on the first year we did something like 260 shows and i think we had about 255 reblocks it was absolutely really? crazy yeah we only did two shows or three shows with the whole cast wow. because obviously because how intense things like can cans are like girls are going to get injured all mm. the time and you're constantly like which way am i kicking yeah. you be whispering, yeah. Yeah. You're going forward and you're like okay that's yeah. kind of the fun yeah. part about it though, yeah. especially when you're doing the same show every night yeah. and it gets yeah. repetitive it's fun when yeah i actually kind of it's kind of bad but i enjoy when things kind of go wrong or no, yeah. something happens and keeps it interesting keeps and it fresh. Think yeah. on the spot and like yeah, yeah. seems yeah. like something that does to makes the camaraderie is that the word camaraderie yeah, yeah makes it like more interesting and yeah for yeah. sure and then yeah. it's fun to come backstage and laugh and then about laugh it and go like, yeah. oh my gosh this happened yeah oh, yeah no for sure yeah i'd love to be a swing for that reason yeah because i think it swing like, means you go into all the other you all the, able to do all the positions yeah, like, yeah. The, all the, the, the roads. yeah. 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 i just love the idea of like switching things up constantly yeah i didn't realize that you did in the show dance offs or whatever you call it Oh yeah, we do dance offs. Uh, yeah. yeah. I saw that yesterday, and I was like, "What are Wait. they doing?" Oh yeah, we do. Yeah, we do on our little entrance. Yeah. Well, a little bit. It's, it's just like a little like fun. sweets little you can things. do to yeah, keep actually, it fun. The other, the other day, we were talking about like what's our like favorite things. Yeah. Like, what have they been about the contract? And one of mine was the little things that we like add into yeah. the show. It's yeah. nothing like crazy, but it's just like to keep it fresh and fun and like keep everyone on their toes. So we do this little dance off. Yeah. For like an entry that we come in with the Black Blues yeah. brothers, um, while, while the Blues brothers are on, they're Curry bowing backstage. Yeah. yeah, and we come on. We do our little Corey, and then there's like two counts of eight that we that we're meant to just like kind of be like, yeah, mm. just clap and have fun and then run on. But we've started doing choreography. Yeah. <laughs> Full on choreography going on. Full on choreography, and, and then, then we then come backstage. Do a show and tell. Show and tell. Yeah, yeah. last one tonight. We're gonna pull out all the stops. I know, we're yeah, last all one. The stops. Yeah. We're on opposite teams. Yeah, yeah, um, we don't talk, and you're not allowed to choreograph beforehand. beforehand. Yeah, because otherwise that would be a big problem. It's cheating. Yeah. <laughs> well, I haven't seen any special effects or pyro or anything like that. Yeah, yeah maybe we need to really today, like, bring, <laughs> bring out the works tonight yeah. <laughs> for the last show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
So um, it's the dream to keep on dancing for as long as possible? Do you have like other careers lined up or ideas? Um, Which is a... I don't know. It's like, I, I would love all, to dance as long as my young. body will yeah. hold yeah. out. Yeah. 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 But um, I don't know. I do want to like kind of switch it up when I get a little bit older, I don't know if I'll get like a big girl job, as we say, like a normal person job, <laughs> or if I'll stick in the performing world and move on to like something like Ree, where now she's choreographing, no. or she has costumes. Like, you know, you never know where you're gonna, um, where you're gonna go with it. Even like be an, an agent or like a casting director, yeah. things like that. So I have no idea, but I will probably change it up a little bit. I think the nice thing with now social media and all these technologies is that you can see that there's ways to stay in it. Yeah. I think maybe back when it wasn't as much obvious that you were able to, do, I mean, you can also just do Instagram almost and, and stay afloat a bit and, and help yeah. that and sell, for example, costumes. Yeah. And able to stay in it for something you love and don't have to, I don't know, or I hit 35 and now I have to find something else because yeah. Yeah. I don't know, my hamstring, for example, doesn't yeah. really yeah. do it anymore. Yeah, it's interesting. Sure. Yeah. As we said, there's so many transferable skills from it, and it goes yeah. into yeah, so many different course. industries. Like, I'm exactly the same. Like, I obviously we all want to dance just like as long as we can, but I think there will be a point where there are other things I'm very like I'm very passionate about the fitness industry, and I'm so intrigued by it. Um, and it's so linked with dance as well. So I'd love yeah. to, you know, at some not anytime soon, but at some point, you know, like go down that route as well. Yeah, for sure. Holly. <laughs> um, for for a long time, I had no idea what I wanted to yeah. do after dance. I definitely want to pursue it for a little bit more time, for sure. Um, but I am very blessed that during COVID, I did have that normal person job, and yeah. I really loved it. And I can definitely see myself doing that after, because I know it was kind of something that was always constantly in the back of my mind. Like I know dance isn't forever. What if I get an injury tomorrow and I can never dance again? Like, what yeah. am I going to do? And it was always a bit stressful, but you know, mm. kind of yeah. try to push it back and not think about it. But yeah, luckily this kind of fell into my lap, and I do have something like a skill that I can do outside of dance yeah. after yeah. it ends. It's an interesting career as well to pursue because you know, unfortunately, there is going to be high likely a point where you're not able to do it anymore. I mean, that can be in your forties, and you have, in Mulan, you have still, I think, there are dancers who are into their 40s and almost maybe uh, late 40s, I don't even know, but it can be. So, like for my career, I am able to do what I do probably for as long as I want to work. So I think for you, when you have like maybe 10, 15 years, so you really need to enjoy it as well. Yeah, sure. And take it all in. Yeah. I think that's such Anyone a hard Anyone should part. do that, but. but. Yeah, <laughs> a hard part about it, because you know it's not forever. And I think it's so scary, the whole yeah. injury thing. And, and, the fact, yeah. and the fact that you train for longer than you actually probably will work yeah, professionally. Yeah, if you start with like eight, nine years. Yeah. Well, when did you start? I started when I was five. Five, okay, yeah. wow. I was two. Yeah. two. But I was just like standing in the corner of my big sister's class, well, like dancing matter. with her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. 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 That's a long, long way yeah. to then sit here. But I think, it, I think it's nice to, you know, think about, you know, future and what what you want to do next and if you do want to keep going in the dance route or you don't because I think there's absolutely no shame and yeah. I think that's probably it wasn't a thing in college but I think it's like you either do this or you're not successful and I couldn't think opposite I yeah. think you could work for two years and be like that was great you know I've had enough and yeah. on to the next thing and yeah. or you could work for 20 years and still be going I think yeah. anyone who's done this profession I've got so much respect for whether that's a small time a long time you know um, yeah. All right. Well, we're about an hour now. So, thank you very much for okay, doing this. It was very us. fun. Thank you for having us. No, I'm glad we did it before you leave. Or so you, you, you. No, you go tomorrow morning. Tomorrow at five a.m. Five a.m. <laughs> Six a.m. And you two are on Monday. We're not we're till Monday. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 yeah, I, I haven't even started packing yet. So. Yeah, you have tomorrow <laughs> or day. I've got tomorrow yeah. and like the day of Monday. So. So, yeah. It's going to be goodbyes then. No. Oh, don't. No, <laughs> we've not cried yet today. <laughs> no. yeah. But yeah, thank you very much for having us. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.